Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Somebody's getting a, when they're rastering, they're getting a box around it. And first of all, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what kind of plastic this is. Uh, might be, I mean, those are, I, I can't remember the name of the brand of the laser, but anyway, he sent me the file and I put a yellow box around it and there's nothing behind there. But, if we take away the photograph and we hit F4, you can see that there's something in the screen over here. And there it is right there. Now, I don't know if he's moved. And even looking at it under view and wireframe, you can see the box. So let's delete that box. And now we will go back to view and enhance and hit F4 and only your graphic shows up and there's nothing else there. Now, he sent me two files, and one of them is a bass, and he did a really good job because he sent me pictures, and you can see this box that's engraving. Uh, and I think he's having trouble uh, rastering and engraving, and first of all, uh, this is in CMYK. Let me get rid of the yellow box. This is, in, this is a hairline, Okay, that's not going to raster at all. It needs to be thicker than a hairline, the raster, or you could vector engrave this, and it would really save you a lot of time, and I don't know, uh, I've done almost the exact fish. And also on his black, it's, it's a, I don't even know what kind of black it is. It's not a RGB black, because RGB would be zero, zero, zero. So we're gonna turn that into an RGB black and see he's got that same black. So when you, I can't speak for all lasers, but in Epilogue, uh, the RGB is gonna be a better black. Now, the other thing you can do is, you know, um, fill it in and take away that other part or, you know, just, you know, fill in parts of it uh, or, you know, do it like you're doing or, or fill in the these other parts and, have, you know, have a completely different look. You know, maybe do, you know, if you're going to do the whole fish, I would, you know, not have, I'd left click, right click, and then I would do the same on, I still have the smart fill tool on. Whoop. Still do. I would take away that and I'd left click, right click, and I would fill in the whole fish if I was going to do the fish. Um, we've got, a, evidently, we've got a little leak right there because it should not fill in around that eyeball. Uh, well, there it is right there. It's got two sets of lines. So whenever you have something like that, uh, and then this line is actually thicker, but it is, it's two sets of line. So that's how I would engrave it, but it's personal preference. But if you're gonna fill in parts of the eyes, you know, make sure they're RGB black and and then turn, you know, if you wanna raster engrave this, uh, it just needs to be thicker than a hairline and, you know, put on even like 0 0.07. But this is gonna take a long time to raster engrave. You can in vector engrave that uh, just, you know, really fast and, um, you know, like a, uh, I'm going to say like a 100 power at 75 speed or 50 speed, and it's going to go through here there and just try to cut that, but it won't cut all the way through. Well, you're working with acrylic, so I really, or some sort of plastic, so I really don't know. But the same thing here. If we look at this fish, see the, I don't know if you can see these dots on the screen. Let's go to wireframe and even, even the dots don't show up. Even something's going on. So let me get rid of this picture and let me uh, see how big the, you know, let's go back to, I, I can't stand wireframe. Um, it's less than three inches. So let's make our three inches and let's, move this stuff over a couple of times. 
And watch this. There's an item there. Uh, if we fill it in, it doesn't, I don't know what it is. It's six objects, but they're like hidden. Um, I don't even, I can't even make it, you know, do anything. Um, nope, it's, it's just, so whenever you design something, go through there and delete and then hit F4. If only the fish comes up, there's nothing else on the screen. And just for instance, if you had a little bitty zero here and you hit, you know, you're zoomed in on your artwork and then you hit F4, this is telling you there's, there's something else on the page and you need to delete it. So F4 is your really good friend. And then I still, and a lot of times if you move something, um, you know, you can see it better. Let me back up before I deleted that. Let's put this thing, whatever it is, closer. You can't really see it, but see when you, you well, I don't know what that is. I hope somebody else chimes in. Uh, something that cannot be seen. You know, what could it possibly be? Um, I've never even seen anything like that. Let's go to object. Um, try grouping them together. Nope. Go to object. It's not locked. It's, it's something on the screen, but the laser's picking it up. So I think that's your shadow box. And I can't, you know, in the picture, you actually have two of them. But maybe you enlarge your fish or something. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.